Check this out guys, I'm gonna turn those three cups into just one cup by shooting at it. Again! Alright, let's see. What's up, pranksters? Welcome back! Welcome to another hack video and joining me for this video will be SB as always. In today's video, just like the title says, we're gonna be creating some fun toys out of nothing basically. And these toys are basically gonna be launchers and shooters that you guys can do at home when you guys are bored rainy day or just have nothing to do these are perfect to kill off some time and you guys already know that i do a lot of experiments myself i'm always trying new things i like to uh, debunk stuff so i can honestly say that this video is going to be a lot of fun because we're going to create something out of nothing which is something i enjoy doing and those are the best hacks when you have nothing going for you or you have nothing you put things that don't work to new uses such as a straw for example right here we're gonna turn it into a shooter and that's gonna be fun because a lot of people have straws at home and you guys usually just take them for granted, throw them away, don't even bother to use them for something else. Well in this video we're gonna put them to use for our own entertainment and fun. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that thumbs up button guys, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to his channel and check it out. SB, remember that last time that I got you with the snake in a camp prank? Oh! <laughs> Again? <laughs> For reals, man. That was a, I mean, I had a good time. And you know what? I, not only did I get you once, I got you twice. Actually, I don't know how many times you I got You got me you. like five times. I got him really good with this, guys. Well, instead of setting up some pranks with this snake in a can, we're actually going to be creating a cannon launcher and we'll be using the mechanism of this snake in a can prank. Let's open it up. Can I do the honor, says B? Okay, so you open it up and then what happens? This happens. <laughs> As you guys just saw, this snake popped out of the can and it's bound to scare somebody, right? Well, it's a long spring and this thing can launch. So we're going to use it to our advantage and create a little cannon for you guys. For that, you guys are going to need a tennis ball can, like this one right here, and the snake that comes in the can. So let's get started. As I mentioned guys, you guys are going to need a can of tennis balls like this one right here. We're going to start off by emptying out the tennis balls. We will not need them right now, so put them aside. We're only going to be working with the can for now. On the middle of the can guys, we're going to be creating two holes. Make sure that they are evenly aligned so that they're on the same height and level. So for example, I'm going to take this little round circle right here as where I'm going to be creating my hole. And you guys can definitely do the hole with a cutting tool, but I'm going to try to do this fast with a power tool. See? There's a the hole. And I'm gonna do it to the other side. You should be able to fit a pencil through one end and out the other, and that's it. So far so good, right? All right guys, now that we got the holes, we're gonna be gluing one end of the snake inside. So apply as much hot glue as you guys can onto one end of the snake. So insert it in, make sure it sticks on, and that's it guys. We're gonna let this dry for a little bit. All right, I believe it's dried up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the snake back into the can. So push it all the way in. Now you guys can load up one of the balls as well so push it in to be able to push the snake further down. Now while holding the ball down, put the pencil through the holes that you created. Just like this guys. And our cannon is complete. That's what it should look like at this point. You got the snake underneath, the ball on top, and the pencil holding everything in place. Now. Once we slide out the pencil, it should be able to launch the ball. So let me show you how that would work, guys. Just grab it and pull it. But first, make sure you guys are aiming. All right, so again, here goes, guys. Well, I'm disappointed in that ball, but let me try something else. Now I'm gonna load it up with one of these jack-o'-lanterns. It's plastic, so it should go far. All right, here goes, guys. Let's see what this jack-o'-lantern is all about. <laughs> now that goes far. Let's see that again. All right, so for this first shooter that we're gonna be making with the jumbo straw, you're gonna need a jumbo straw, of course, and a rubber band like this. So, let's cut it, all right? So, now that we cut the rubber band, we're gonna be covering one of the ends, like so. So wrap it around the bottom. So it should look something like this, guys. Once you have this set up this way, apply some glue on each end of the rubber band to keep it 
attached to the straw. Okay, so let's apply that glue. Just like that. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side, of course. So make sure it dries up and then it's ready to go. I'm actually gonna apply more glue just to reinforce it. That's it, let's let this dry. Okay guys, so pretty much our launcher is complete. It's done. So let's say we were to load up a pencil in there, like so. We pull back on it, pull back on the rubber band and the pencil and it shoots it. Now, I don't like that because it's very hazardous, so we're gonna make it a bit more safer. All right, since this straw is too long, guys, we're gonna trim it down like that. That way it's smaller, and you can use this piece to make another launcher if you have another rubber band. Now, we basically load up the pencil, put a eraser cap on it, that way you don't hurt nobody or damage anything, and look, and launch it. But, as you guys can see right here, I have a magnet, so we're gonna make this a bit more fun if you guys wanna shoot at your fridge. This will definitely stick on. Let me show you how. First, you're gonna take the eraser cap, you're gonna load the magnet inside, like so, and then this eraser cap, you guys are gonna glue to the pencil, like so, to create a little T like that. So, add some glue to attach both of them together. All right, load it up, add the glue, and then let it dry for a little bit, guys, so it sticks on. And that's basically it. We're gonna shoot at the fridge and you guys will see that it'll stick on. All right, so there's my fridge. Let's shoot at it, guys. It should be able to stick on. If you guys were to aim at your fridge, this will definitely get stuck on there. So you guys can either uh, create a little paper bullseye that you guys can use as target practice. And look, <laughs> it sticks on. Just like that, guys. Look at that. Barely any force used. Ah, barely but you don't necessarily have to shoot at the fridge you guys can create different types of target practice let's knock down those cups right there <laughs> that was nice huh? let's try that again this time full force check this out guys I'm gonna turn those three cups into just one cup by shooting at it again Again. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Hey, it's B. Let me see your straw. Okay, guys. Now for this next launcher, which is like the easiest one that you guys can create, you're only gonna need a straw. But our little projectiles would be some poppets, cause these are fun, and it's so cool, guys, that this actually works. And to me, it's one of my favorite ones out of this whole launcher that we just created because yeah, it doesn't take that much work to do and it's very effective. So all you guys do is, you take a poppet, you just load it up. Let's do some target practice, SB. Let me see. Let me set you up. First, let's create a little bullseye. So let's create a big old round circle. This one would be a thousand, five hundred, and then just 100. That's basically it. There's our target practice right there, guys. It's bullseye. Let's put it to the test. Here it goes, guys. <laughs> 500 points for me. You left your mark there, didn't you? Yep. There's the mark right there, guys. We'll shoot it again. Ooh, 1,000 points. Confirmation right there. A little stain. One more time. What was that? 500? 500. Yeah. ASB, can you load up like three of them at the same time? I like that. All right, let's see. Whoa! Man. Whoa, that was awesome. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's go for another three. A hat trick. All right, let's see that in action. Ooh, Ooh that was some damage right there. Damn! Pretty cool. So this is really fun, and you don't have to spend that much time preparing it, guys. All you need is some poppets and a straw, like that one. And there you guys have it, some homemade launchers and shooters you guys can make out of basically nothing. So if you guys go into your trash, you might be able to find the stuff needed to make these hacks. So SB, which one of those launchers and shooters was your favorite? My favorite one was the one where you launch the poppets through the straw. That one was bad to the bone, man. <laughs> You know why it's fun, man? Because you don't really need to do much. All you need is a straw and some poppets, and that's it, guys. It doesn't require much work, 
and it's loads of fun that you guys can try out at home. Now, if you guys want to see more of these, please let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big like so I know that you guys like this video and that you guys want to see more. I have more ideas coming soon as far as making launchers and shooters. I might end up making a slime launcher and I know you guys love slime. So look out for that. Have those notifications turned on and I'll be seeing you pranksters in the next video. Peace. It's that good. Whoa. Mm. Dang, SB. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Try it. Try it out, guys. I guess SB approves of you guys making this because even though it was under $20, it's not as much. So you guys can have a lot of fun.